Senator, what is the net result so far of your investigation in the possible security leaks at Fort Monmouth? It's pretty hard to give you the net result in one minute's time, but some of the good results, number one, the number of suspensions out there uh, indicate uh, the forceful, the intelligent, and energetic attempt being made by General Lawton here, who's the commanding officer, and by the new Army Secretary Stevens to really do a house-cleaning job. I think perhaps one of the most encouraging things from the standpoint of a uh, man like General Lawton, I know he's not in a position to comment on it, is that uh, they know now that they have a Secretary of the Army who will back them up when they suspend communists and suspected espionage agents. In the, in the past, uh, many of the commanding generals, especially at Fort Monmouth, found that when they would suspend a man because of communist activities, because they thought he was an espionage agent, uh, and if the suspension was upheld by the First Army, it would go down to the political board in Washington. I'm talking about the old administration, the old Truman administration. And uh, the case would be reversed, sent back, and the general here and other generals would be ordered to reinstate them, put them back handling secret work. Uh, I think the most encouraging thing we found is the complete, wholehearted uh, support now of the new Secretary of the Army, of the commanding generals in Fort Monmouth and other points who want to clean communists and potential es espionage agents uh, out of their organization.